So while I was in the process of making this video, I rendered my video out at a four to five aspect ratio, which is the shortest video Instagram will allow. And when I uploaded it, what they did was cut off the sides so that it would fill the phone screen. First things first, you're gonna wanna use nine by 16. Don't let anybody tell you there's a better size. So that's like 1080 by 1920. You can just Google aspect ratio calculator and figure out other sizes, but the, the nine by 16 is going to be the aspect ratio to use because otherwise Instagram's going to change the size of the video for you. And if you're like me, you want to know the product you're uploading before you upload it so that it looks exactly like that when it gets to Instagram. By the way, I'm recording this video with OBS. That's why you're seeing this lower third right here. That's the stuff that would normally go on my live stream. Okay, so here we are, we're in Premiere. First off, to get my actual pixel size, I'm gonna use a calculator online. I'm gonna do four by five and I'm gonna do 1080. Um, you could also do 720 by 900. Somebody asked about this in the last video, what the optimal size was. I'm starting a new project in Adobe Premiere. Now I'm gonna create a new sequence. On editing mode, I'm gonna go to custom. For the video, I'm gonna set it to square pixels and then 1080 by 1350. This is gonna allow the shortest video that Instagram TV will let you upload. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here to my browser and find the one that's called We Saw a Mountain Lion. Bring that onto my timeline. Okay, then I'm gonna drop this video onto my new sequence. I'm gonna tell it to keep the existing settings because I want my original video to stay this shape. So now, if I double click that, you can see that this video, there we go. I don't mind cutting off a little bit on the edge there. So the next thing I'm gonna do is duplicate that same thing. So now I have two layers of the video. And here's, here's the trick, basically. I've got this first layer that has the video on it. Then I've got another layer with the video on it. So the one that's behind, I'm gonna scale it up until it fills up, see, see that? I'm gonna scale that up till it fills up the background. And then I'm gonna drop a blur filter onto it. Gaussian blur, Gaussian, Gaussian blur, Gaussian, Gaussian, Gaussian. All right, and let's make that blur. Okay, you see that? I'm adjusting the blurriness. You just want it to not be, you, you don't wanna be able to see what's in the background. You just want basically colors back there. This works, down. that works. Something that you can do in the in the blank space at the bottom, you could drop like your lower third or whatever you have. I'll, I'll show you. Let's see. There we go. I'll drop my lower third on here. Make it span the length of the entire video. And then we'll put it down here. And let's also drop a little subscribe. That'll work. So this subscribe thing. Let's put this right down here. That works. You see Twitter and Instagram back there behind it. But what I really want people to do is go subscribe on my YouTube channel. Basically, when I'm posting something to Instagram, I'm asking people to also join me on YouTube. And then on YouTube, I'm asking them to uh, either follow my call to action, like, hey, click this link and check out this thing that I like. Or I'm asking them to also check me out on Instagram. Basically, you wanna be crisscrossing everything. If you've been on YouTube for long, you remember when a lot of creators lost their engagement, they lost their revenue, because YouTube changed the way they recommended videos based on advertising stuff. So you wanna have your social media presence spanned out over multiple platforms. All right, now just render the video however you normally would, but double check that the width and the height, see right here, you know, you want that to be the width and the height of your Instagram video. Camping trip for IGTV. This is gonna take a few minutes. I'll see you guys when this is done rendering. Let's take a minute and look at some of the more popular IGTV videos. Entire screen, entire screen. John Mayer is using the entire screen. These people have literally just dropped their video onto a black canvas and uploaded it. It says, made with video riser down in the corner. How professional. These people have used the technique with the blurry background that I just showed you for how to convert your video. So you can see they've got the, the video in the background is blurred and then the same video on top of that shrunk down to fit within the vertical space. Here's Gary V. He's, he's gone wild. He's got the blurry background and then he's got a bunch of text and yeah, he goes all out. They literally shrunk the video down to fit in that space and then did the blurry background thing. Okay, wait, this person has gone completely sideways. 
You don't want to do that. You're going to be tempted to just turn your video like that. Don't do that. People are going to get used to this Instagram TV format and they're going to want to have the thumbnails at the bottom that they can thumb through. So if you make them turn their phone sideways, everything's going to be sideways. I think people are going to be used to this format really fast. Uh, it really, it fits in with Instagram very well. Let's see if we're, let's see if our render's done. All right, all right. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your own Instagram page on your web browser, and then right here, there's a button for TV, right there, IGTV. And we're gonna click Upload. It's gonna say drag and drop a file, but I'm gonna browse for that file. It's on my desktop, like a nerd. <laughs> Camping trip for IGTV, there we go. I can see it's not showing the whole video. Instagram is actually cutting off a little bit more. I won't I won't have it, guys. I won't stand for it. So Instagram is actually cutting the sides off my video when I upload it at, I think this was four by five. So I'm gonna go to nine by 16. 16, 1080 by 1920. I'll come back over here to Premiere, Sequence, Sequence Settings, and change this to 1920. And my blurry background video, I'm going to need to increase its scale. There we go, that looks good. I'm also gonna to need to fix my subscribe button. All right, well, I wish I didn't have to render this video again, but that's that's what we gotta do. Make sure my width and height are right, 1080 by 1920. Let me go ahead and export that again. Okay, so now we're back at IGTV. So let's go to the upload page, pick our file again. There we go, okay. that's It's gonna show our whole screen. Let's, we'll call this, um, Camping in Colorado, we we got stopped by a mountain lion. Let's just compare our very first scene here in Premiere. You can see the little edge of my van door. And then we come over here, see the little edge of my van door? It's the same. So Instagram is not gonna cut off the sides of your video if you upload at nine by 16. So I would just give a straight up recommendation of uploading at nine, nine to 16 aspect ratio no matter what. Oh, now let's let's get a thumbnail. I'm gonna take a screenshot from this, transform it. It's funny, I got some stuff at the bottom. Let's just stamp that out. Let's cheat the system like this. Oops, there that goes. Not the best Photoshop work ever, but it'll, it'll do the job. Colorado camping trip. So some drop shadow on there, just so that it pops a little bit, that works. Some clickbait. We saw a mountain lion, exclamation point. Yikes. <laughs> that does not say yikes, it says yikes. All right, that's my thumbnail. It's not, it's not the cool, it's not the coolest thumbnail ever, but you know, for, for the purposes of just making this video. It's quite a big upload. YouTube's been handling these big uploads for a long time. I'm a little wary of uploading to Instagram that it's going to uh, time out or, I, I haven't had any trouble yet, but I had somebody ask me about it hanging up at 99%. Let's hope that doesn't happen to me. And by the way, if you're wondering why you can't upload videos longer than 15 minutes, you have to have some kind of uh, follower milestone. I don't know if it's 10,000 or what. Uh, but you have to have a certain amount of followers before they let you make the full length videos. Okay, it says we're at 100%. I'm gonna hit post. Preparing video will notify you when it's ready. That's scary. Okay, okay, there we go, it's showing. I don't know how long it's going to take for it to prepare my video. All right, we're just gonna let that process. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Um, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, go over there and follow me so you can see the video I just uploaded. Uh, and I'm gonna keep making content for both platforms for now. Um, as a creator, I go through phases where I, I'm just making videos because I feel like I have to. It's part of who I am. And then there's other times when I'm making videos for fun. And sometimes the ones I make for fun aren't that great. Sometimes the ones I make just because I have to turn out really good. You never know. When you look back at your catalog of work, you can say, wow, I made all that stuff. Later, it doesn't matter why I made a video. When I watch it back, if I like it, then that, that's what really the work, let the work stand on its own, you know? So hopefully this video gives you what you need to know to uh, put your own videos on IGTV. Um, and subscribe to me on YouTube. I, I put out new videos all the time. I'm Bird Snake. Thanks for watching.